Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how you can calculate return on asset using dynamic procedure. So before we get into detail how to write the HFM rules in a calculation manager, let's understand exactly what is return on assets. So as per definition, the return on asset is calculated used to analyze a company ability to generate the profit from its assets. So ROA equals to total net profit divided by average total asset. I've given an alternate definition of this in the second part of my slide, but we'll take this formula and write the same formula into HFM calculation manager and test the outputs as well. So uh, I'm calculating return on asset, periodic asset, YTD, HTD, half year to date, and year to date. The return on asset is written on dynamic procedure and therefore it is on the fly and the output does not store. If you look at the procedure carefully, return on asset, the member of your account dimension, I'm calculating this for periodic. The total net income divided by average asset. And this is the formula. So total net income, because we are calculating for periodic, we would like to multiply this for number of periods, even uh, number of members, generation a given period. I show you this in live example to make it easy to understand. Similarly, to calculate YTD, you say total net income multiply by number of period in generation divided by number of views. So the number of HS dot view dot period number, you know, work this way. It gets the period number in the view for the data that is being retrieved. The example given over here if I use periodic it is always one 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 if it is QTD it calculate for the quarter so QTD is one second quarter is also second sorry for one 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 the scope of this for given quarter the calculation takes place only one quarter if it is half year to date it is one and this is second quarter of the given half year right first quarter of the second half year and second quarter of the second half year if i use ytd it increment when first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter so a scope is determined depends upon this periodic qtd half year date and ytd let's see how it works exactly so i'll take you directly to my uh, app hfm application and show you how it works <coughs> I log into my application and I already written this expression in my calculation manager. I open this application and in addition to this, I also open my calculation manager. I have already written the expression into, into my calculation manager script under dynamic calc procedure. So in order to save time, it's already there. I just have to put there and validate calculation manager when you open it first time it's a little slow so it takes a couple of more seconds I have got HFM planning and airspace all three configured this is the name of my application my procedure is dynamic it's a custom defined script so I right click and I create a new script over here you can see the script I can right click open and show you the script this is opening and closing parenthesis of a dynamic. It will calculate on the fly. So first we'll calculate your return on asset periodic. Um, I'll copy this expression, put it in an notepad. So when we apply a test, we should be able to understand what is what. Okay. Let's first test how ROA gets calculated. So according to the formula, it's net income divided by average asset. Okay, because I want in terms of percentage, I multiply by 100. Okay. So after you create a script, uh, you know, you validate the script, save and validate. Make sure it does not have any syntactical error. It passed. After you write script, 
you can create a new rule right click create new rule and simple drag and drop your script name your rule and I open an existing rule over here drag and drop your script over here between your begin and end just simple drag and drop the script you have written right now after you add script you can also toggle between design view and edit view you can see the scripting return it turns out to be uh, all you visualize turns out to be scripting then the next step you use this rule under your rule editor so I'm sorry you put this in a rule set you right click and open new rule set and in rule set is just a collection of rules when you want to ensure your rule should be executed in certain order you put them under your rule set so I put them under rule set and then I finally validate my entire rule set and ensure it does not have any syntactic error it doesn't have any syntax error and once you return your script right click and validate your all rules at parent level or application level I click and validate my entire application so none of my rule has any syntax error and then you can toggle from system view to deployment view so under application you find there are two folders deployed and to be deployed once you deploy your process it turns out to be moved from to be deployed to deployed so in dynamic had I modify the expression would have turned out to be modify I right click validate individual and right click and deploy right click and deploy so once you deploy from to be deployed it turns out to be successfully deployed to be deployed turns out to be under deployed folder you right click and refresh right it deployed and timestamp in 19 January 2016 so you uh, script got deployed now let's test this in order to make it very simple to understand I already create a data form where you see all elements so what is your input element your net income is one of your input element right so in my while designing interface I keep track of this your net income is your input element and the value is 200 then hs.period.numgen uh, if I look in the context of my quarter one so quarter one is like year half year and you have got quarter one then similarly you have got months and so on you have quarter two quarter three and quarter four so actually numgen will return four because there are four quarter in a given year right so uh, and total asset periodic asset I input value over here to make it easy to calculate I made it user input which is 1000 right so uh, when I multiply this 200 when I put this value into my expression 200 into into 4 equals to 800 divide by 1000 equals to 0 0.8 multiply by 100 become 80 okay so you see the output over the ROA calculated 80% so this expression is passed because it's dynamic the moment you modify the value uh, the moment you modify the numbers you know calculation will take place automatically okay I need to log off and log in because I modify my rule I need to close and open my application again so as I said it's a dynamic so the moment you modify the numbers ROA will recalculate automatically see I put the numbers and write back it got recalculated now so the expression new value is got um, your asset P become 2000 right so 800 divided by 2000 becomes 0 0.4 to 40 percent right it's a beauty of dynamic let's take a second part of this as I calculate for periodic we could calculate for QTD half year and YTD as well let's take QTD expression 
so my QTD expression is mm, let me copy from here under dynamic rule turns out to be system view once again I open my script and copy my QTD view this is my expression now let's test this it is correct or not so I put the expression over here and put all the values net income it's continued to be 200 uh, number of period in generation I'm looking at the quarter therefore there are four quarters in a given year hs.view.period is going to period number is going to return one in this example it is going to return one QI asset Q also make it 2000 HS dot view dot period period number is going to return one because it is the first quarter I'm calculating for quarter and if you go back and check your um, your table for quarter one it returned one isn't it for QTD therefore it is going to be one right now after you make it it's one your a asset q is 2000 a asset q is 2000 and multiply by 100 so let's take this put this number is 200 into 4 equals to 800 divided by 1 it's remain 800 divide by 2000 become 0 0.2 0 0.4 multiply by 100 it's a 40 percent and therefore QTD R is 40 percent in a similar fashion you can calculate for asset uh, for half year and for asset whole year ROA for periodic QTD HTD and YTD right so that's it for today uh, you can subscribe to a YouTube channel to access more than 1000 videos about different aspects of high period. Should you have any training and consulting requirement, please feel free to write to us. Our site is bispsolutions.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead.